Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to a special nighttime edition of Hobo Technos. Now today we do have a small but very significant product in the world of charging power stations and other devices. That is this Best Tech 300 watt Pure Sign inverter. Yes, Pure Sign, and I checked it. It really is a Pure Sign inverter, and it really can handle several hundred watts from a 12 volt source. This is something I've been looking for for quite a while. One of the biggest problems that we have in the industry with portable power stations is that a lot of the big ones can't be charged from 12 volts. They have to be charged from solar or from 120 or use some kind of special adapter or a certain high voltage. A lot of these power stations can't be charged fully from 12 volts. This is the solution. Why? Because you can plug this into your car, truck, van, or RV, either your uh, main ignition power or your house power, get 110, use the AC power adapter that comes with your power station and charge it at its full speed. And I'm gonna prove to you that it can be done with this. Now, I've mentioned this before, I've kind of let on that I was testing this product, so if you do this properly, this is gonna work to charge things like the Max Oak Blue Eddy, the giant 1500 watt power station. It's like my number one video now. Very well selling, people love the Max Oak Blue Eddy, but the biggest fault with it is you can't charge it from 12 volts. Well, this allows you to do that. It also allows you to charge the Jackery Explorer 500 at twice the rate that you could by plugging it into your vehicle. Now, this is like the second best selling product. But one of the faults with this is that if you charge this in 12 volts from your vehicle, it charges it like 40 watts, right? If you use the best tech inverter and plug it into your cigarette lighter instead and then use the charger that comes with this, it charges it like 81, 82 watts. It's like twice as fast. So while you're driving to your next destination, say it's five or six hours away, you can chop this up completely from dead in five or six hours from, the, from driving your car. Uh, if you try to use the 12 volt from your car directly into this, it'd take like 12 hours. Most people aren't gonna drive 12 hours in one day. So this little sucker is a really big solution for a lot of you. Without further ado, let's get into the testing. Now we're not gonna bother with an unboxing because this is the only thing in the box. This is the important specifications here. 300 watt pure sign. This does work between 11 and 15 volts. Now that's kind of hard to believe because most inverters will shut off or die under 12 volts. But we're gonna go ahead and test this. We're doing the first test, which is to see if it is a pure sign. As you can see, it is a pure sign at 110 volts, 60 Hertz. The next test is that this pure sign inverter claims it'll work from 11 to 15 volts. So let's check that range. I'll show you how it's got this set up. I got the Jackery 240 supplying 110 to this charger, which is a 10 amp charger. It's a voltage adjustable. So I have it right now set at 11.3. And that is sending power out of these wires into all this mess of cables and adapters to get me into this. So I'm supplying 11 point, well, it says 11.2 volts now at 10 amps through here. And then I'm using the meter to tell you uh, if it's pure sign, what the voltage is. And then on the other outlet, I have plugged in this charger for the Jackery. Just to show you, it is drawing a load, 81 watts input, which is what you're gonna get from the standard charger. Let's drop it down to 11 and see what happens. Okay, so now we're at 11 volts. The AC voltage has dropped to 108 volts though. We still have a green light on the inverter and we're still doing 81 watts of charging. So this does work perfectly fine down to 11 volts, which is really rare for one of these plug-in inverters. Now let's kill it. I'm gonna definitely take it down to 10.7, 10.8, and there we go. It does cut off. Uh, it does die out to kick itself back on again, even at 10.8 volts but it's no longer charging. It's no longer sending uh, enough power out the inverter to charge the Jackery. So there we go. It actually does die under, 10, uh, under 11 volts. So let's test the maximum on this. They claim 15 volts, and this does have over under charge, over temperature under temperature. All those protections are built in this. So I'm not worried about hurting this. So let's do 14.8 volts. 81 watts input. So it does work up to 14.8. Let's, let's exceed 15 volts and see, to, see what happens here. 15.6, we're up to 112 volts, still charging. 
All right, 16.3, and there we go. It finally over voltage protected and shut down. There we go, 15 volts exactly. Let's see if that'll take. And it does. And the Jackery kicks on and returns to charging at 81 watts. So the claim that this works from 11 to 15 volts DC is confirmed. Final capacity test. I have a 35 amp hour lead acid battery that I'm gonna connect directly to this. It's gonna pull everything that it can from the battery. Let's see what works. Okay, I do have to hold this terminal on because I don't have any other better way to do it. But we'll have a clear shot of the lights here. Get the terminal on, sign inverter powered up. There we go, low setting, that's 100 watts. Turbo, that's 130. That's 200 watts, and it's kind of struggling there at 230, 240, and it's getting hot. I think that's about all you could pull. Okay. This thing, the fan came on, it started running, running pretty hard. All right, so now we know if you hook it directly to a battery, and this battery is fully charged, it's running probably uh, 12 point, 4, 12.5 volts because it's kind of old, but so that's the kind of voltage we're getting out of it right now. If you cook this inverter directly to a battery, will you be able to charge a big power station or a Blue Eddy? That's what this test is all about. Okay, guys, we're going to try the holy grail here. That is, we're using a regular lead acid battery running at a mid 12 volts to power this pure sign inverter, which is rated apparently at 300 watts. We're going to put it through the kilowatt meter so we can see exactly how many watts we're pulling. Should be around 190. And we're running this all the way back to this sucker, which takes 190 watts to charge. Now, the proof is going to be, if this works, that means you can charge one of these big suckers off of a regular 12-volt battery. As long as you're not going through some small fuse, like a lot of times your cigarette lighter in your vehicle might be 10 amps or 15 amps. In which case it might blow the fuse, but in this case we don't have a fuse. We're running directly through, and I think this actually does have a fuse in it, and I'm pretty sure it's a 20 amp. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Is it gonna work or not? Holy crow, guys. It's working. Now it is working, but it's working when the kilowatt meter is not on, and these terminals are getting kind of hot. Let's go ahead and disconnect the kilowatt meter. For whatever reason, it's causing some kind of interference. We'll just do this directly. I know it's gonna pull 190 watts, so I don't really need to measure it. These, these wires here <laughs> should definitely not be putting, but they're so thin, that should definitely not be putting a lot of power through these for any extended time, because they are getting hot. These terminals are getting quite hot. I'm glad I'm wearing gloves besides the lead. So let's go ahead and try this again. I mean, it was charging. I just wanna verify. When I turn this on, the green light stays on. Green light's on. Guys, it's charging at 190 watts. This proves it. It can charge a large power station from 12 volts. I didn't think it was possible. All right, peeps, now here is the holy grail test. I brought out the Max Oak Blue Eddy. My number one power station is the one I recommend to everybody because it is just awesome and it's also huge, 1500 watt hours. Gonna be quickly my number one video on the channel, my review of this. If you haven't seen it already, just go to my homepage. It's right there at the top. You can get 290 bucks off this thing right now between my code and the coupon, so it's a really good deal. As I'm gonna show you that the Blue Eddy's charger from the factory, the AC charger, uses about 170 watts. So you can see it's charging from that at 170 watts. And just to confirm it, it's pulling about 185 from the kilowatt meter. Now the ultimate test is gonna be to use this crappy 12 volt lead acid battery, which basically would take the place of your house batteries or your vehicle battery in your RV, truck, van, or whatever. We're gonna run it through this 300 watt pure sign inverter and charge this with 12 volts. Now you see what I'm doing here. Your engine's running. This is the battery in your vehicle. Well, as long as the engine's running, this is gonna get 13.6 volts. That 13.6 volts from your vehicle, you plug this into the cigarette lighter, what comes out is what this charger needs, right? So as long as this car charger can put out 200 watts, which it can, we just proved that, it should be able to charge this while you drive. You hear that? 
they tell you you can't charge this from 12 volts while you drive. Well, I'm telling you, with this $40 device, you can charge the Blue Eddy while you drive. You can also charge this while you drive if you end up getting this instead. So let's do the test. All right, guys, moment of truth. I got the Blue Eddy hooked up with its charger through the Best Tech inverter hooked up to this 12 volt battery. Let's see what happens. Power on. Light comes on there. Light comes on the charger. Blue Eddy comes on and it's charging at 170 watts. You see what's going on here? 12 volt battery through this inverter through the charger, 170 watts. That proves once and for all that you can use this Best Tech 300 watt pure sign inverter on your vehicle, truck, van, RV to charge the Max Oak Blue Eddy while you drive. You heard it here first. And this trick will work with any power station as long as it's not pulling more than about 200 watts on its AC charger. So you use the AC charger that comes with any power station. Now I said that again, any power station you can buy on the market, you can use the AC charger through this, hook to your 12 volt system in your car, truck, van, or RV to charge it up from 12 volts while you drive. Now, if that ain't worth 40 bucks to you, I don't know what else to say. Okay, I could see some of you skeptical folks now. You're gonna be like, well, I don't have one of these expensive Max Oak Blue Eddy things. I have, maybe I have something like a Jackery Explorer 500. You know, something more reasonably priced, which from the factory can charge from 12 volts. So while you drive around, you can plug the 12 volt adapter into this and charge your Jackery Explorer 500 or your Jackery Explorer 240 while you drive. Now we all know that you can do that. But what you don't know is that when you charge from a 12 volt source like your vehicle while you're driving, this thing charges way slower than it would if you plugged it into AC power. So what I'm gonna demonstrate here is we're gonna go ahead and plug in the Jackery Explorer 500 and the 12 volt source, 13.2 volts from the other Jackery to simulate a very charged battery in your car, truck, van, or RV. And I'm gonna show you how fast it charges on 12 volts compared to how fast it would charge with this. If you really want it to charge faster, and that's the biggest complaint everybody's like, this thing doesn't charge fast enough because if you charge from solar, it's slow. If you charge from 12 volts, it's slow. It does get much better when you plug it in, but if you're off grid and you're out in the middle of nowhere with just you know your vehicle, how are you gonna charge it? What if you don't wanna buy a two or $300 solar panel for it? You just wanna charge it off at 12 volts, but you don't wanna wait all day. Well, I have the solution right here. It's called the Best Tech 300 Watt Pure Sign Inverter for like 40 bucks. So right now I have the 12 volt plugged in to the Jackery Explorer 240 over here. And I have this plug and we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the Jackery. I'm gonna show you what rate it charges at. From default, 12 volts, like you plugged it into your car. There we go, screen comes on. It's charging at a measly 42 watts, which would take like 12 hours of driving to charge this up. Let's see what happens if we plug this in to the same exact 12 volt source and charge it using the factory charger that comes with the Jackery Explorer 500. So let's go ahead and unplug that. Okay, plugged in, the green light's on. I have the cable in my hand. Let's plug it into the Jackery Explorer 500 and see what the difference in charge rate is. Well, looky what we have here. Well, looky what we have here. 81 watts. That's twice as fast as using the regular 12 volt from your vehicle. So do you see what I'm getting at here? If you plug this inverter into your 12 volt instead of using the cord that comes with your Jackery, you can double the speed charging your Explorer 500. Double. That means you can drive for six hours and have this thing fully charged. That's a big difference. Now that trick doesn't work on the Explorer 240 because Explorer 240 is a much smaller battery. It's capped at 42 watts charging and it charges just fine at 42 watts from a 12 volt source. So it's not really gonna work for the 240. It's also not gonna work for the 160, which is also capped at 42 watts. The biggest problem with both of these is that well, first of all, the Explorer 500 charges so damn slow off of 12 volts, and then the Max Oak Blue Eddy doesn't charge at all off 12 volts. Well, I just found this device that will double the speed of the Jack Explorer 500 charging and will actually allow you to charge this fully off of 12 volts on your vehicle. Now, you're going to have to have your vehicle running 
Otherwise, you're going to kill the battery. You could do it off of your house batteries too. If so you got solar and you want to charge this from 12 volts off of your solar, you don't want to use a big 1500 or 3000 watt inverter, which has a bunch of loss. You can get this sucker, which has much less loss, just only a few watts of overhead to charge this and charge it efficiently. So I'm going to leave the decision up to you guys, but I know what I would do. I'm definitely going to keep this sucker because it's going to be useful. So if you're interested in the Best Tech 300 watt pure sign inverter, there is a link to the Amazon page below where you can check it out. There's also a code in the description that will give you a significant amount off of this device. And if you were educated by this video and you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. If you have any questions, leave your questions in the comments. I'm sure some of you are going to have lots of questions about this device. Can it do this? Can it do that? Leave them in the comments below. If you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now, guys. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Hey, Odin. What do you think of the Best Tech Pure Sign Inverter? Are you impressed? I know I was impressed. Boy, that's the look of evil right there. Sorry for waking you up, man. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Barbie Gold Guy.